Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this 2015 GP2 live season news and announcements update video. That's a mouthful isn't it? So uh, what this uh, video is all about is about updates to the league regarding the 2015 season as well as the winter social events that we will be doing this uh, winter starting well you'll find out later in the video. So but without further ado, let's get on with the video. But first, before we talk about any of this winter social or the 2015 season, what happened in this season? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to hand over to my good friend Tom F7, who runs a F1 live season, and he is going to tell you what happened this season in the league. Tom. Hey guys, it's Tom F7 here, and as you are already aware, I will be going over the 2014 GP2 live season standings for the World Drivers' Championship and the World Constructors' Championship. So just before I go into that, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's ever raced in GP2 live season this season. I really do thank you guys for making this first season of GP2 live season a big success and especially to Sam596 and is amusing for changing the league from what it originally was and making it very very competitive towards the end uh, as we are all aware the title went down to Abu Dhabi with the double points and uh, well let's get into the championship so as you can see uh, Sam596 is the world drivers champion for the 2014 GP2 live season with 99 points but it was a very close competi uh, competition between him and Joe with 97 points so only two points difference and that's very very close indeed third place so best of the rest was F1 LS Monster with 87 so only 12 points off the championship and still a solid drive. As you can see, Mr. Ghost uh, Lob Phil, I guess, uh, Edgars, Mr. Shazir uh, Blakely, uh, 748, uh, Chuck Rolo, 888, Dolek, 135, Kaz, 069, Iceman Alcatraz, uh, Alcatraz, Alka. Zao, I don't know. You guys really need to change your name so it's very much uh, or very easy to say instead of it being difficult right now. Uh, 13th place man is uh, initialization with 14th being F1 Pico and is amusing the BPG13 HW divider. Uh, the final three unfortunately scoring no points in the driver's championship. Now I am aware that the driver's championship was reset I believe after the summer break so obviously some of the drivers there with zero points or not so many as they should have had uh, obviously it's due to the reset and the same can be said about the constructors championship so sam won the drivers and he was in the red bull but unfortunately he was unable to clinch the constructors as well with his teammate blakely and uh, the Constructors' Championship goes to the McLaren Mercedes team. So well done to Mr. Shazir and F1 LS Munster for scoring 151 points. That's really good. And that is actually uh, 9 points clear of a uh, second place team Red Bull. So both championships were very tight there. And third being the uh, Toro Rosso team. So the Red Bull uh, team's doing very well there. Mercedes not having a great season compared to uh, real life. Uh, F1, Force India, Ferrari, Williams, and Sauber a distance eighth. But of course, obviously, the reset uh, points and standings has affected this. So I'm going to hand you over back to Sam. I just want to say thanks to him for making this video. And uh, on my channel, you guys will be able to hear some news about F1 live season primarily and also some GP2 live season news between now and the beginning of the season. So, I apologise that I've gone on quite a lot, Sam, but here you go. I'll hand it back over to you. Peace out, guys. Thank you, Tom, for doing that. So, you now know the 2014 GP2 live season results, but what's next? Well, it's not the 2015 GP2 live season. It are... It is, rather, the winter social races. Now, we're doing this because... 
you'd have to uh, wait all the way until March until we started doing actual GB2 live season races. So we thought, why? Well, I know what we'll do. We'll do some social races during the winter. These will be starting this Saturday, which is the 6th of December, at 6pm GMT. So it's just like uh, the current GP2 live season calendar, well, races are. So, normal time. They will be every week until the start of the season, the actual in real life F1 season and the GP2 live season, excluding the 27th of December, and you'll see why in a minute. So, these will be just like our current season, there'll be 50% races with short qualifying, but I must, I, I, can, I can't stress this enough, anyone can race. Anyone. You can be GP2 LS, you can be F1 LS, you can be new to the game, you can be old to the game, you can be boys, you can be girls, you can be 10, you could be 110, you could be, I don't know. If you own F1 2014, then you can race in this. All you have to do is sign up to gp2ls.engine.com slash wintersocial. Ah. So, why would you want to do this? Well, it gives you a good thing, and if you're looking at getting into F1 LS, well, I'm going to recommend that the F1 LS team principles uh, ha keep an eye on this uh, championship, because obviously, if they look at this, they could uh, have some candidates. Some uh, some people already are guaranteed seats, some people already signed con uh, theoretical contracts, virtual contracts, whatever it is. Uh, so, obviously they. But the ones who uh, have not yet decided on the lineup for the 2015 F uh, Formula 1 live season, they... I, I strongly suggest that they have a look at the at the winter socials and see if anyone in there takes your fancy. Uh, just one rule change to the current GP2 LS. Well, when I say one, I mean four. <laughs> Basically, we've decided to ban traction control, steering, braking, and pit assists. Steering, braking, and pit assists, man, no one really should be using them, in my opinion. Traction control, where well, we had a vote on the GP2LS site, uh, and most people wanted to ban it, to be fair. Um, I can see why. I mean, uh, traction control is pretty overpowered in the current uh, game format. Um... So, yeah, so we decided to ban traction control. So, yeah. <laughs> so where are we racing in these winter social races? Well, there isn't 19 races until... Uh, 19 weeks until the start of the uh, 2015 uh, Formula 1 season. So, we decided to drop a few races. I can't remember exactly what they were. I can see Australia and Malaysia and Spain have gone. And then we did drop a couple others. I think we dropped Hungary. Uh, there might be a, another one or two there. I'm not quite sure. But there is the calendar. Obviously, you can see now that the 27th of December will be a one-night championship. I'll explain what that is in the next slide. And then... This is every week, 6 p.m. GMT, until the 14th of March, when the GP2 2015 live season begins. But before that, what is this uh, one-night championship thing on the 27th of December? Well, quite simply, on the 27th of December, it will be at 6 p.m. GMT, subject to change. It might not be at 6 p.m., it depends how many people can make it. I just want this to be an awesome night full of racing and laughter and everything. Um, basically, what I'm planning is it's going to be 19 three lap races around every single Formula One track on the game. So. We'll start in Australia, we'll go through every track, we'll end in Abu Dhabi, and 
all the points that people have will be added up and there will be a championship and there will be a winner. There won't be any teams, they will be on equal and uh, it will be random cars each race so there's no uh, bias to any thing if uh, Cody's have got the equal thing wrong, blah 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 blah. Uh, the championship winner will win a prize hopefully, I'm planning on it though uh, I put TBC, TBC there um, because I haven't decided what the prize is but more that should be subject to change again because they might not win a prize, it depends on how much money I have after Christmas. Or, if I don't have any money, you could just be guaranteed a place in GP2 Live Season next season. We don't know yet. So, uh, if you want to be a part of this, all you have to be is... All you have to do is sign up to the Winter Social Races. You'll be guaranteed an invite. It will be first come, first serve. I'm sorry if you don't make it in. But, otherwise, all you have to do, sign up at the uh, gp2ls.engine.com slash winter social and you will be invited to this race ah so on to the biggie the 2015 gp2 ls live season what on earth is going on well it will start on the 14th of march 2015 it will end on the 28th of November 2015. Unlike this season where we split it into two, we, um, because of the changes in F1 LS, where there's no longer a driver market in the middle of the season, we've decided that we're just going to run straight through. It will use, it will be run on every single Formula One race weekend. Not the GP2 as it was uh, at the start of last season, but it will be run like it was at the end of uh, 2014, where we will race on every single F1. So that will be Australia, Malaysia, uh, what comes next? China, probably, yeah? China, maybe. Um, Bahrain, that's it. Uh, we will be using 2014 until 2015 comes out, because obviously we now know that 2015 will be coming out earlier in the year than uh, it has been previously. So um, that means it could come out anywhere between probably, I don't know what to say. I'm uh, if the season starts in March. I'm sure it won't come out in April because that's way too early. But maybe May, June, July-ish time. That's when I'm kind of betting it to come out. So it won't be a definite switch, but it will be a very serious uh, likelihood that we do switch straight away to F1 2015. So what's next? Well, uh, like in the Winter Social Races, we've changed the rules that TC steering pit assists and braking assists are all banned uh, for the same reasons. Steering pit assist and braking assist, you're not really a proper racing driver if you have them, in my opinion. Traction control, we voted. Blah, 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 blah. It's overpowered. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, next point, I've kind of stolen this away from the uh, uh, 2015 F1 live season video that Tom did, as you heard. Uh, uh, Tom did, who you heard earlier. Uh, and that is the fact that the drivers are all now stewards. So, instead of having a set number of stewards, which... This uh, uh, the latter of last season was uh, myself uh, is amusing and initialization. Oh, now uh, just as I say that is amusing is mentioning me on Twitter. Okay, um, and instead of that, um, drivers are now the stewards. So whenever there is a race incident, we uh, all the drivers will be uh, uh, um, encouraged to discuss the incident, and they will come up with a suitable penalty. This will happen on the site as well as most likely in the Skype chat that we all have and if you're already a member of GP2 Live Season you should already be in it unless you don't have Skype. So uh, when the while this is going on if the drivers are in the Skype chat then they'll be removed until they until we've reached a verdict so that they don't uh, no collisions happen between people and you can't see people uh, blah 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 <laughs> you can't see people who think this and there's people who think that and then hold a grudge between people la uh, what's next um, if you remember at the start uh, in, in in the summer break I uh, compiled two uh, two pools if you will of people 
uh, the uh, pool one, pool two, pool one with the better drivers, pool two with the others. Uh, I didn't really have much to base that on when I did it before. So now we've kind of settled down, we know average form, and so the pools of drivers will be decided from uh, the average point per race finish over this season and the winter social races if you if you drive in them for instance if you have driven in 2014 live season but not driving in winter but you still want to go into the 2015 GP2 live season then um my mind's gone blank then you will only look at your average points per race of the races that you participated in in GP2 live season in 2014. So, uh, and then if, for instance, you got a DNF, that wouldn't be taken into account. But if you got an 11th, then the zero would be account uh, uh, taken into account because it's points per race finish. Oh, I hope I explained that all right. Oh, well, whatever, if I didn't. Ah, right, and finally, I kind of don't know whether to put this in or not, but I have put it in there already, so I'm going to go with it. And that's, that's signing up to races is now mandatory at the uh, site slash events. Um, reason is I would really like people to attend as much as they can, and. I don't really like it when people just don't turn up and they don't have a reason. So if you say you're attending and then you don't attend, you'll probably have some form of penalty. I'm not saying what it is, we'll decide that closer to the time, but unless you have a really valid reason. I don't know whether this will make it into this... I put that more as a suggestion but personally I really want to see that make it through I'll talk it through with uh, with you lot before the start of this 2015 whereas winter social I didn't say this earlier winter social you sign up you're not expected to be there at all if you don't want to uh, you could sign up and then I just have you on the books and then you never turn up um, for winter social, you're just uh, reserving a space, uh, reserving an invite, even not even re reserving a space. Um, you could turn up for one race. There are no teams in the winter social races either. I really should have said this earlier. There are no teams in the winter social races. Just drivers. The uh, cars will be randomised, all on equal. There'll be a drivers' championship, but there won't be a constructors' championship, and you are not expected to turn up to every. Uh, race. Um, there will be a championship, but there won't be a prize. It's just for social, it's just casual, it's whatever. Right, continuing on with GP2 live season, where there will be um, a... Oh, I forgot what I was saying. A constructor's tri title and teams and everything. And you will be expected to be here unless you can't make it, which is absolutely fine. If you can't make it, then you can't make it. If you can make it, then you can make it. If you can make it and you don't make it, then that's not very good. <sighs> Right, continuing on. Um, one thing that I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to see some more racing. <laughs> so I've added this more in as a suggestion as well. It might not even happen, but I hope it does. And that's actual social social races between the in real life F1 events, which will be twenty five percent one shots. They could even make it into being fifty percent uh, short qualifiers, but. Um, this was also be just as it is in winter. There'll be no teams. It'll be randomised. Um, it'll be completely separate to the GP2 LS season. I stress it's just as casual as you like. You don't have to attend. You don't have to attend. Uh, anyone can race. It's just the same. If you want to race, then add me on Steam. The Sam Five Nine Six, and everything. Yeah. So, that's the 2015 GP2 live season. I hope to see you there. Okay, so the, all re that remains for me to say is one big thank you.
thank you to everyone who's raced in the league before. Thank you to John, who's helped me uh, at the beginning of the season. Thank you, thanks a lot to Lob, actually, because Lob's actually helped me quite a lot in the uh, in the grand scheme of things with um, GP2 Live season. Uh, I don't know... Who set up the Skype chat? Whoever that was, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you to every single one who's ever raced in the league. Thank you to everyone who's ever considered going being in the league. Thank you to everyone who's ever been onto the site. Thank you to anyone who's ever been in GP2 and went to F1. Thank you for anyone who's been doing F1 and went to GP2. Thank you to Tom F7 for creating GP2 and giving me the chance to run it. Cool. I am losing my breath and I can feel my mouth watering. After this, I'm going to get a nice big can of Pepsi Max. Oh, that was a good product placement there, Sam, wasn't it? Right, so thank you a lot for watching. I hope to see you at the Winter Social Races and the 2015 GP2 Live season. Um, thanks. Thanks again, and thank you. Goodbye, I'll see you this Saturday. And please, please remember to sign up to http colon forward slash forward slash gp2ls.engine.com slash winter social to be in with a chance of racing this winter. Thanks and goodbye.